With us now is Maureen Tara Nelson, and she is a matchmaker, and she's quite good at it. And she's here to give her expert advice on dating. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now tell me why you decided to go into matchmaking. Um, I was very fortunate 12 years ago that a position opened, and I was in a totally different industry. And I love to help people, and I love to help people find love. So it just came naturally for me. Now tell me, how do you go about your business? How does it happen? Well, people come in to me and I interview them and I find out what they're looking for and then I match them up with someone that's a compatible match to them. I also show photos. Okay. So, you know, that way it's not going on a blind date. How did you realize that you were good at this? Did you do this in high school with everybody? Uh, like, oh, I've got a friend or... No, actually, I think it was after my divorce okay. and I realized that opposites do attract but they're the worst things for us. So I realized no one's going to have to go through what I went through. And I was determined to help people and to help people find love. And it's just grown ever since. And you get invited to a lot of weddings, but you're not able to go to all of them. I'm not able to go because I have over a thousand success stories, thank God. But when I first started in this industry 12 years ago, my mentor told me, do not go on the weddings because you're going to be good at this. And you'll never be able to go to all of them. And thank God he was right. But it is a little funny story that two and a half weeks ago, you could see a little scar on my face that I did make an, I was going to make an exception and go to this one couple who, they just touched me in a certain way. So I said, okay, I'll go to the church and give them a small gift. The day before I was walking the dog with my boys and I tripped and fell and got a concussion the night before oh, no. so I couldn't even go. Oh goodness. So, <laughs> so the universe said no, you're not, if you're going to go to one you can't go to any of them. No, I'm not, not going to go. <laughs> not going to happen. No need to have a concussion. Now I know that you, um, you culled from hundreds of awesome tips down to a, a nice yes. select few. So tell us what some of the do's are on a first date. Because okay. dating is hard. The actual date regardless of what people think, it is hard. So I want to make that easier for people. And the first thing I think will help everybody is to keep it short and sweet and to just go out for a drink or two maximum. Biggest mistake is to have more than two drinks, so never do that. And just go out for that or lunch or brunch. Just never a dinner. It's too intimidating for a first date. Um, so again, first date should be short and sweet just for a drink or two, and for maybe an hour or an hour and a half, that's it. Um, also, I think it's very important that people have very high expectations, and that's almost a bad thing on a first date because you have to give the person a chance. So I always say, when you meet someone, to find the five great things about them that you notice because regardless of how great a person is, we can always find something annoying about that person when we first meet them. So if you force yourself and get yourself into the habit of finding five great things, then you'll do that first. Then when you think of that annoying thing, it's not going to matter anymore. So maybe they have a horrible laugh, but they've got a great sense of humor. Exactly. So which one rides each exactly. other out? So pick out the best good things first. Yes. And Love then that tip. Lastly, I would say to always give a second date. Because the first date, even though first impressions are the most important thing, we're all nervous, regardless of what people say. We're all nervous on our first date. So if you know that, just give the person a second date and you'll then see their true personality. I like that. Now I have some don'ts okay. that are pretty important. Okay, <clears throat> bracing myself. Never, never talk about an ex-wife, ex-husband, religion, politics, sex. I hear that as a matchmaker all the time. I give outdating tips to every one of my clients and some people will say, oh, I don't need this help. And sure enough, the ones that say that, and then I'll get a phone out. The next day, I'll get the phone call that they made a mistake. So, you know, we might think that we're all good daters, but having these tips is really important to make sure that you have a good first date. Okay, so that's a good uh, don't. Are there any others that you can think of? Or just don't be negative. Okay. Everything should be happy about the first date. No negativity of any kind. Leave it. Leave it at home. Get it out of your thoughts because it's not going to help. I think sometimes when I'm trying to go on a date, I try to put myself as who I was when I was in second grade. And when you're in second grade and you're playing on the playground, right. all you right. care about is like the kickballs coming your way, you're gonna kick the ball, you're gonna run around right. the base. It's gonna be, e it's easy. You don't right. you don't think about it. It's almost like it just, 
happens, yeah. like, you know, gracefully. Have a little bit of grace about yourself. Yeah, that's right? absolutely uh, very good advice. <laughs> Great. And uh, have you been on a fun date recently? Have I? Yeah. Well, I work 70 plus hours a week, so I'm better at matching people up. Well, if I ever find a match for you, I'm sending him your way because oh, I think be what exciting. you do is fantastic. Oh, so, I love it. Thank you know, you. there you go. Um, yeah, reversal. <laughs> So if you want to be a date for Maureen, uh, no, I'm just joking. Oh, uh, but goodness. you can. No, I'm just teasing. Uh, We're not going to do that to you. Pressure, it's not, pressure. No, it's not that kind of show. Uh, <laughs> but you can reach us at liveituptvshow.com. We'd love to hear your dating experiences, especially the great ones. And if you have tips, you can always share them with us. Thanks so much. So yeah, I I think you're phenomenal. I think what you do is so helpful.